Yes guys, back with another video. So today I'm actually going to be teaching you how you can build outbound voice agents inside of Simflow really easily um, and with a free prompt as well. I'm going to be giving you a free prompt. So you can just plug and play this prompt, you know, insert your where like your niche is or what your niche is because this video is actually for any niche. So no matter what niche you're in, whether you run an agency yourself or you've got clients that are in the home service niche or coaching niche, it doesn't matter. As long as you've got outbound callers in your offer, it, it does, you can use this video. So just going over Simflow, if you don't know what Simflow is, um, it's basically an outbound or an inbound like AI voice agent platform where you can build these agents on and it's the easiest to definitely build on as well. So just going over here, I'm going to be sh showing you all basically all of these apart from uh, workflows and probably contacts and integrations and um, just the main important ones just to get this outbound caller you know set up so we have assistants here this is obviously where you're going to build your assistants uh, and I'm, I'm going to be giving you prompts for these assistants i'm also going to give you prompts for your knowledge base as well so just stick around for that um we've got actions here so i'm actually going to be building out a calendar with you inside a go high level and if you don't have a calendar inside a go high, go high level, or you don't have go high level, I would recommend getting it. But um, you can also use cal.com and you can actually use Calendly and we'll show you a, a trigger, an action here that will send your booking link to that uh, lead. Um, workflows here. So let's say uh, you can connect this with Zapier, you can connect this with uh, Make, and they're no-code platforms. So let's say... Um, certain part of the conversation you want them to go down a spreadsheet and look for something you'd have to build that out out on zapier or make and this will trigger it that will trigger it so when that conversation is then spoke about for it to trigger to look down that google sheets yeah that's just an example there's so many more and then i'll be showing you how to get a phone number as well but that's really easy inside of simflow so i'm going to be going over the prompt now so this is the prompt i'm going to be giving you for these agents so once you're inside of Simflow, come to assistance and then we'll create one from scratch. We'll go through it with you. So we'll go, you can either use a quick assistance setup. So you can actually use AI to quickly give you an AI, well, an outbound setter. But if you're, you start, just start this from scratch and actually build it out yourself and give you the prompt I'm going to give you, it's definitely a lot better. So obviously we can create, This is these are the options you can have inside of the assistance. So outbound, so that's obviously... Um, calling leads and inbounds obviously when someone calls you and you can have a, a, a so you, inbound would mainly be used for like receptionists or like just stuff like that front desks um, outbound mainly for like SDRs uh, cold callers and a widget is actually what you have on a website so like a little chatbot on a web, website that answers questions so um, I'll actually just assign my number now uh, actually i'll do that i'll do that in a second but yeah we'll come back that, around down to agents and we'll go into my outbound assistant and we'll come to uh, configure so here's you have the name so um we'll just call this uh, i don't know uh evergreen caller and you'll always want to use the what is recommended at this moment um time zone obviously just ha have your time zone here uh, there's definitely not, we'll just keep it there. And you also have the knowledge base here, which we will be going over in a sec. And this is where we put the prompt in. So I'm gonna go over the prompt with you now. So going over the prompt to give you, if you're wondering where this is, it's in the link in the description, it should be the second link. Um, so I have a, a lot of examples here. So if you actually come back into Simflow, you have a prompting guidelines and this is I'm going to help you a lot, especially if you're new to prompting AI agents. But if you just want to use my, uh, you know, prompts, that's, that's completely fine. But as you can see here, we've got, um, I go opening, reason for the call, uh, qualifying questions, offering the appointments, objections. So, and within here, we have placeholders. So you, this is what I mean by you can use this for any niche. It, it, it doesn't matter because whatever, you know, yours is what your relevant problem is to your niche you can put that here and just change this prompt for you so hi this is let's say hi this is daniel this is uh oh no sorry hi is this daniel hey this is daniel for calling from whatever name whatever company you call calling from um 
let's say, I don't know, I'm going to be running this for an agency, the prompt I'm going to put in. Let's say you run an agency, it helps people book more appointments or achieve an extra, I don't know, 5 to 10k in a certain amount of days. So, yeah, you can just go down this prompt, it's in the link in the description. I also have a, a prompt down here for the knowledge base as well. And I'll be going over that in a sec. But I'm going to put my prompts in to this uh, assistant and I'm actually going to test it as well. So before we actually test these AI agents, I'm going to be building out a uh, calendar with you. And this is inside of Go High Level. So if you don't have Go High Level, you can use Cal.com, which can be integrated with Simflow. Or you can use, still use, say if you use Calendly, you can use that. And you can just trigger, um, send an SMS when someone wants to book an appointment. And then you can send your Calendly link that way. But um, inside of Go High, Go High Level, and building a, a new calendar with you uh, come up here to calendar settings and then go to create new calendar and have it as a personal booking so i'm going to call this a simple flow calendar um have it with you and then you can have a call it a simple flow calendar oh there we are. Uh, meet and duration, however long yours is. I'd say mine's 45 minutes. Um, uh, I've prompted mine because uh, in the prompt, you need to add uh, your what times you have as well. So um, I think that's my, yeah, yeah. And uh, between, I think mine were 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. Uh, let's put that in. And 6. Okay, and then press confirm, and then that's how literally how easy it is. So, um, and then you literally just connect that inside of um, Simflow, and I'll show you how. So, you come to this is the prompt. So I'll, I'll go over it in a second, but you come down to, I believe, no, not there. Yeah, actions, and then real time booking, and then go to create. And then go to go high level and then choose to connect to go high level. And then here it is, Simflow calendar here. And then your your calendar is then, you know, you put the time zone, initial booking date. So this is when you went want to start the booking from. So do you want to start bookings from tomorrow? Or let's say you have availability uh, from Monday. You want to start it from, you just, obviously just choose Monday. But I'm actually going to go over that the, uh, the prompt now. Now you know how to connect your, your calendar into this. I'm going to go over the prompt and I'll be testing this. Okay, so actually before we go over the prompt, just really quick, um, you want to go to configure and um, you want to come to voice and uh, you want to obviously pick, uh, obviously, your voice here. You can choose. There's loads. So I'll, let's choose right, Charlie. And then you can listen to him here as well. But um, just going over these dead quick, you want to have... The, uh, the time of the um, the AI responding really low because a lot a lot of people if you if they're waiting like one or two seconds for the AI to reply they're gonna be like hello is anyone here because like, I've had that uh, at times when especially with the latency people don't understand like, if if your prompt's really good um, you can probably move the latency up a, li a little bit and your AI will just respond a little about that that bit quicker so um. Yeah, you can just go around and play with these the cool co configurations. So, obviously, you're going to be paying for, you know, the AI. So, you don't want it to be going idle for more than a minute. So, we've got voice mode detection to keep this as ML-based. I, I wouldn't turn this on either. Idle reminders. Yeah, I keep that to four seconds. And, yeah, so going over the prompt now, this is just going over, like, say if I was an agency offering this. So um, give, just give an example. So you can use the prompt that I gave you. So we're actually going to test this now. So as you can see, it's calling me. So Is this a good time to talk? Oh, yeah, this is a good time to talk, actually. Awesome. This is Daniel from Calvert Insight. I know this is a bit random, so I'll keep it quick. How's your day going? It, it's going well. 
So we help home service businesses add an extra five to ten thousand in revenue in under forty five days. We do this by generating leads and converting them automatically into booked appointments using AI. Does that sound like something your team could benefit from? Yeah, we could benefit from that actually. Great to hear. Just so I don't assume, how are you handling lead follow up and bookings right now? Is it mostly manual calls, a CRM, or maybe a VA? We uh, we actually do it manually at the moment. Got it. Sounds like you've got a system going, but what's the biggest frustration with that? Is it not enough leads chasing them down or turning them into appointments? You know, just doing it manually just takes so much time. You know, having to do that with them with them leads. I totally get that. Here's what we do differently. We don't just send you leads, we close them. Our AI acts like a front desk rep, following up, qualifying them, and booking them into your calendar. It's fully done for you. Would you be open to a quick call where we walk through how it works? It takes less than 15 minutes and I think it'll blow your mind. Yeah, why not? What time do you have available? Great, let's see. How about Friday, April 11th at either 4.30 p.m., 5 p.m. or 5.30 p.m.? Does any of those work for you? What about Saturday at 11 a.m.? Looks like Saturday at 11 a.m. isn't available. How about we stick with Friday? Or would you prefer to look at Monday or Wednesday next week? Yeah, what about Monday at 3 p.m.? Perfect. Monday, April 14th at 3 p.m. is available. Let me go ahead and book that for you. I've booked your appointment for Monday, April 14th at 3 p.m. So, as you can see, there, it's actually booked it into my, it should book it into my calendar here. Uh, I'll, re I'll re restart high level, and I should have a, uh, an appointment in my calendar sitting right there. Oh, go high level actually takes ages to load. But, yeah, as you can see then, it also handled um, and with when I said, "Oh, uh, can I can I book for Saturday?" Or oh, we don't have any uh, for Saturday, and then it tries to redirect you to another time. So yeah, there it is. It's confirmed for that time. So um, that's that. And now coming over to the the knowledge base. If we come back over to this prompt, um, I'm not actually going to build out the knowledge base. I'll just go through really really quick. Um, Wherever it is. Yeah, here it is. So you have company name is a type of business that helps target audience solve problem. Um, in the knowledge base, you don't really want to be adding like, prompting. So that says here, uh, avoid adding prompts and instructions. So like objection handling, it won't really work there. So just go over like, what you offer like, or what your clients offer, um, their ideal customers, why people book appointments, their ideal customers, qualifying processes, um, just stuff like that. So, coming back over to Simflow, um, actions. So we've gone over the real time booking. So if I was to do S the SMS one I was on about earlier. So let's say you have a Calendly link you want to send. You would come to um, create, and it literally has it already here for you. Basically, um, you, whatever it just says booking link, you'll just put your Calendly there. So it, that's that's easy. Um, we've got workflows that won't be going over, but phone numbers, this is the, the last thing we'll be going over now. You come to new phone number, buy a phone, buy a number, and this is really easy, because a lot of the time uh, with these other platforms like, well, like High Level and like Vapi, let's say you want to buy a US number, you have to do a load of stuff with your address, like here, you don't even have any address requirements, and let's say you want to buy, these one you don't have numbers for the UK, but normally when you buy a number for the UK, you have to do something called a regular to bundle. And that can be like, it can take like over a week to get verified for it. It can be quite annoying. So, but yeah, that's it for, for today. Um, I should be making some videos on inbound callers and stuff around how you can actually integrate this into your offer. So if you've got a value from today's video, then just leave a like, book a call with me if you want to get this done for you. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.